your virus ass finger. <laughs> my yeah. computer ain't even working. You got so much virus, my okay. computer's not working. Baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on. You don't want Whole me to point Zoom you, died. you? It's his fingers. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you said don't point. Start it. Go. It still ended with a point, man. All right, fine. <laughs> now hit the music. Sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. <laughs> you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Don't listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you! you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yeah, what's going on, GYBB? Get your balls back. B-A-B-B-B, a better bitch. W-W-D-D, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Corona style. Cheers, niggas. Oh, Prost. Good Prost. Lord. You know got what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. You got what you got? Green tea, nigga? <laughs> nigga got napkins. <laughs> no, no, no. He got no, Kleenex. I got tissues with vapor rub on them. This is your sick ass <laughs> needs. <laughs> <laughs> Andre got the Corona 17. That nigga could yeah. be good. To I got the old joint. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's well, going Andre, on? D we haven't well, confirmed me, that on, Andre me, has anything. Uh, let me That's just right. Introduce the, let me just introduce the fucking guest in the building. This is my nigga right here. My nigga, he don't get no bigger. Give it all over the great boy. The one and only Dirk Gaines, y'all. Dirk Gaines in the building. Yeah. Hey. Breakfast of champions, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little single malt scotch in the morning. This is how we it do it. In the good. How you doing, Dre? I know you was feeling a little sniffles. Your tummy hurt and everything. That's the thing. I ain't have none of that. I was just shook. I was just scared, son. No, you, you was paranoid. You was sick with paranoia. I, yeah. was, I was fucking shook, bro. I can't <laughs> even hold you. <laughs> What make it funny is Dre the nigga with the conspiracies. It ain't no more water, and he the nigga they go first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he first. They gotta kill him first, so he don't let it on the, the. So the conspiracies don't get out. They gotta kill you first, Conspiracy man. Yeah. That's it. Son, I was in here taking everything, every type of tea, every fucking medication, <laughs> garlic oil, nigga. Me, I was this nigga, and none of that shit worked. That nigga. Uh -huh. That nigga had a. Oh, where the fuck am I? At? Where did I go? Fuck, am I out of this? No, you're here. Okay, yeah, we're still here. Uh, the fucking uh Drake. I was like, Dre, Dre, you need something? He was like, Yeah, could you give me some elderberry? Oh, I don't even know what the fuck elderberry is. Yeah, he, he probably I, got I, that from a grandmother or something. <laughs> Somebody told you, some woman, old person told you to get that. You make it, bro. Irish tea moss. Yeah. yeah, but you you come from the only family of Jamaican hypochondriacs. Who got... <laughs> Mad nervous Jamaican. The only Mad. one. The so only one. Sick. Me feel sick all the time. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Let me, let me tell you, take two 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 pieces of papaya. You go on. Some green on tea. It. I mix it <laughs> by one cow foot and everything good. <laughs> Everything got me strong. You ain't going to have coronavirus. You got to be called Rona. That nigga got the dragon style virus. <laughs> <laughs> he got the Red Guinness. <laughs> Red that nigga is really Red. scary. I'm good. It's good to see you because I didn't want to tease you that because you was real scary. I was shook. I was in the window. Nigga waving. thought he was going to die. <laughs> a sad Jewish baby. Just, oh. 
<laughs> so I, I so I, this nigga said he needed a uh some elderberries. So I went to the the the, the health food market, right? I like y'all niggas got some elderberry. Oh, and you know them all them weird ass health food niggas was like, of course, right? This way, I mean, six different <laughs> kinds of weirdos. elderberry. All those, all those basements smelling like weirdos. Yeah, hey, all them dirty foot white women. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, hairy yeah. armpits, <laughs> a lot of hairy <laughs> armpits, <laughs> a lot of patchouli. Nigga. Yeah. said six different kinds, right? And then I needed. A, he said he needed a thermometer. Because, of course, a whole Jamaican household don't have a thermometer in it. I don't know. Because, I mean, they don't Not raise one. their kids properly. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> then I, Andre never had his answer. Because, you know, because when you're a kid, you got to get your thermometer through the ass as a baby. So, you know. Jamaicans don't play that. Jamaicans don't play no LGBT <laughs> shit. Nah, the temperature, dog. Yeah, and I'll get my temperature from the bottom. See? From the pom pom. No, <laughs> I'm not about to my business. Right, to bot to my business. Why y'all gonna put it on my ass? Bot the boy. Bot Listen, boy, just care. rub my head. Feel me head. I'm just good. Feel me. <laughs> feel cool and nice. Yo, me. Fuck y'all, man. Me warm. Me warm. <laughs> feel like Montego <laughs> Bay. Montego Bay breeze, breeze coming right off the water. Oh, oh my God. So then I went to get this thermometer, right? Uh-huh. And all they had, because all the thermometers is gone. gone. So all they had was this $82 thermometer. Oh, man. That you don't even have to, you don't even have to put it on the motherfucker. You just shoot it at it's the nigga. It's the radar like gun a, one, right? It's like a radar gun. Just yeah. boop, and it tells you the nigga temperature. So I have a $60 one, because, you know, I got to have a hot shit. But my shit is not radar, so I gave the nigga my old one, and I kept the eighty-two dollar one. <laughs> Cause I didn't, I'm not giving this nigga eighty-two dollar thermometer. Yeah, if it's eighty dollar oh. thermometer, both of y'all niggas got to come up somehow. Yeah. You have to, <laughs> you have to come up somehow. I'm not gonna just get this for some random nigga. Also, you don't want to spend eighty-two dollars. <laughs> so, yeah, Eighty-two dollars, Andre, who has not been tested, and it's just all in his head. That's just his Jamaican oh, bullshit. Sweet, sleeping yeah. under a blanket like a bitch because he's scared. <laughs> You're like eighty-two bucks. I'll I'll get him some elderberries, Yo, but I'm uh, not. That's a lot of elderberries. Yeah. Eighty-two dollars worth of elderberry. Clearly, clearly, hey, after this is this bad. Uh, Andre is mad LGBTQ, nigga. He's hey, mad brother, LGBTQ. Crazy, man. I don't care. Yo, and then he wouldn't even come outside. He couldn't even come outside. Wait, I mean, from the basement window. <laughs> his mom, he sent his mom out into the tundra with what the a man, disease. Man. He sent his mom out? <laughs> his, you really mom, are go get your stuff because I don't want to I, I don't want to get I sick. Wanna you go. Nobody. <laughs> so you, you sent a kid at home? I was mean, diseases I, I got in me, nigga? How many you know how many diseases in me? I got the original fucking scurvy. Nigga, I got wow. scurvy the from bitch one. during 90 the, in the 90s, a crackhead bitch in the 90s. Nigga, eat a tangerine, you'll kill that. Dude, scurvy? Wow. Scurvy, scurvy, you don't hear about scurvy no more. That's like VCRs. That you have and to be a sailor level. to get scurvy. I had rickets when I was 14. That was a scurvy. dumb thing. Vitamin C. <laughs> so I go see, I had a nice talk with his mom. First time I met Andre's mom, which is it's a testimony to what a piece of shit of a friend I am. Like I'm <laughs> Never met his mom, and I ne- I've never been in Harry's house either. So, but whatever. That's <laughs> your Harry. fault. You pulled up to the thing, and you you hung out in the car. We've mm-hmm. hung out in the car outside my house. I, I've never. Been here's here's the thing. Let's be honest. How great is your house going to be that I need to get out the car? Come that's on, that's the <laughs> point, Dante. It's not lifestyles of the rich and famous. You don't yes. only go into people's houses yeah, to have uh, your mind blown. Yeah. I'm going to go see Harry's uh, Cribs. It's going to be just another version of Red Man. Yo. Like, <laughs> Mad yeah, Lucy. So Nothing but turkey bolognese. Oh, it's well, full of it. I mean, this place is fine. I'm just saying, do I really? Like you got a fine place. It don't look like it's over the top. No, there, but, but, but probably nigga, I got to get out the car well, come upstairs. For the, nah, I'm good. I love y'all, though. I love y'all. How you feeling good, Dre? Yeah, man, I'm I'm good, man. Man, hey, LGBTQ, what? This is day eight, nigga. day nine since I had the scare. Everything good? Just uh, doing this quarantine shit. And you, you they won't let me out my fucking room. You know, we they, your moms wouldn't let you out the room. Your girl, your girl there. Yeah, we just in here. Yo, so let, let me explain this real quick. Do you gotta hear? It. 
what did y'all just y'all went out on a date and came back and then you just you just no we went to Walgreens. You went to Walgreens and came back and you haven't left the base. You and your girl haven't left the base. Haven't left, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Walgreens. That's it. Okay. So we didn't know his girl was there with him. Eye medication, bro. Harry, did you know? Harry, did no you know? Clue. His girl is locked in there. Andre mom's locked both of them in the basement, put a chair underneath the door. Yeah. And been, <laughs> been sliding curry go underneath the door. <laughs> <laughs> thank thank you, Oxtail. Oxtail through the crack of the door. That's so funny. Thank, thank you God know. his uncle Delroy never fixed the door so it don't sit right so he could have room, space to slide. Oh, food. That's so funny. That nigga ain't up here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh but y'all get though, like I heard, I heard ginger beer kills coronavirus. They like, all spicy ass sodas. Oh no, here kills we go. The virus. So if you drink it, it burns it out. You'll be fine. Oh, so, yeah, stop! Good. Stop! <laughs> here we go. <laughs> they just, they just, Facebook they, conspiracy theory. So nigga yeah, told me yeah. he 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 boiled onions, lemons, and put it in a breathalyzer, and he good now. I'm like, ah, right, nigga. Then he said to me, in, the, in God's words, he he looked over me. I like, no, nah, nigga, you just you got through it. You 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 stuck it out. You just wanted yeah. one of the niggas people, didn't die. Some people just don't believe in their immune systems no more. Like I like I've heard like I was talking to a chick the other day that had it, and she's good now. I still hate her, but she's right. <laughs> you know, but, and I hate the lover because she got me. The bitch what do you got mean? me. What do you I mean? mean, I mean, like she got like. We hit one time, and then she ghosted me after that. Woo! So every time she hit me up, I'll be like, I don't really want to talk to this chick. And then she'll get me to go and say some shit, and then she'll, then she'll ghost me back. I'm like, ah, I hate this uh, Did chick. you hit it again or no? I only got it once. I only got it once. And, and so she ghosts you, she baits you, and then gets you back in again? Yeah, she'll like, oh, try to bait. I'm like, this. Yeah, she got it is, here's what it is. You... Here's what it is. So, <laughs> look, it's all about... It's, it, this what she did was bitch likes. That's what that's a that's a bitch like. Like she 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 ghosted you, so she keep dating. She keep posting on her her her, her live feed, right? Yeah. Not even on social. Media. And you go mm, like, and he go, and then you like he she and I liked did you back. Once, and I did yeah. it one time. She had some picture of like the behind the scenes of the Sandlot, like picture. Yeah, you know, yeah. Remember Sandlot. They had a picture of them filming the Sandlot. I was like, oh, that's dope. Like, right. and she was like, I know, right? Hey, how you doing? Uh, I had Corona, but I'm back. Uh, uh, here's, what you got, like, here's what you got to do. Look, you fucking, are you fucking? This is what I want to know. If you're not With fucking. With the R, don't even take, spell it all out. R and then, then the letter U. R-U. Are you are you yeah. fucking. It's just a dick. <laughs> just are you the emoji? Egg, the eggplant. The eggplant. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it's some, some water. It's some yep. water dropping. It's some splash. <laughs> <laughs> some night. Nigga, they do that. Harry had that shit, boy. Ooh, tell him, Harry. Tell Which, him that. Tell uh, the, the, the goofy English bitch. Oh, my. Yeah, when you'd stop calling for, like, you'd be done with it, and then she'd hit you up randomly, like. Well, first, tell him, the, tell him the, the part about. Oh, Bill, tell him, Yeah. Oh, hold on. You the whole story of it, the whole thing. Yeah, that went yeah, down? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this girl, is, I, this is early on though, before he was uh, under the tutelage. Before DAs. I learned my skills. Under the tutelage, okay. Before I learned my skills, this girl this is a girl I used to work with. We used to work was kind of flirtatious, blah blah blah. Years later, we start going out, and I didn't, I didn't, I took her on a great first date. This was the first date. Was she had like for whatever reason she couldn't have a birthday party or some shit that went down. So I go, I know what I'm gonna do on the first date i'm gonna throw her like a mini birthday party like take her out i bought her balloons like a little i made a little gift bag all that stuff that's you know took her out to dinner surprised her with all that stuff trifecta she loved it took her around the city she loved it hung around the cellar met celebrities niggas that she see on tv walk around the park Motherfuckers go, hey, Harry, Sher- oh, good to meet had- you good. who's this at sherrod uh smalls you know, run around. Dave Chappelle's like, Yo. man, man, good to see you, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it. All the legends. Tony Woods was out. <laughs> Just start throwing names out. So show her to the car and see mm-hmm. how bad she want to meet these stars. That's Ice Cube. You fu- you messed you up go. already. But go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> well, I took her out. Great night. I didn't pull the trigger that night because I didn't have I wasn't there. I wasn't mentally there. I didn't have the confidence okay. at the time. Right. Took her out. 
for whatever reason, you had after, the Derrick game. You had the Derrick game. <laughs> I, <laughs> you got, you got, you got the Derrick game. <laughs> That's all there. Because it's all there. Every once in a while, you get. I, nigga, come on. Every once in a while, you get. But anyway, go ahead. Tap, finish the story. Out so here. I, yeah. I, you know, whatever we took it for whatever reason, we scheduling wise, we couldn't hang out again. And then little by little, I started losing her a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Then. So it would just so then I would buy. I'd be like, it's done. I'd start ignoring her. Then she would keep hitting me back only when I ignored her. Finally, she's like, all right, I want to take you out for your birthday, blah, blah, blah. Then she tells me one day she she lets me just to let you know, uh, I'm getting back together with an ex-boyfriend of mine. The heroin addict. He was a recovering heroin addict. Oh, why are you doing recovering? Nobody give a fuck about that. Well, I mean, it paints a picture. To the <laughs> the hepatitis C, a big, that ain't changing. It's a big difference yeah. to my confidence. I mean, at least he's recovering. I, I, I could deal with that. <laughs> if he's still got the needle in his arm and she's walking hand in hand with the dude. They got seven a little different bit more. belts wrapped around his body. Is. I think I know what this is. What is I think it? you got blocked by the Florence Night effect, the Florence Nightingale effect. The Florence Nightingale, mm -hmm. the girl fell for the dude that was sick and left the nigga that's well to the wolves. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Well, yeah, that's, 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 there's a principle behind that. The principle behind yeah. that is that a woman doesn't like what you can do for her. If she likes you for what you do, what she does for you, because you give her purpose in the context of her life. Now, women, yeah, how does that work when you're Drake? What purpose do you provide in his life? Oh, doesn't matter. They just got to it don't got to be real. You know, it don't have to be real. She just got to. Ah, OK, so she's like, oh, like I'm going to. She changed your life. You know how that happens. You know how that happens to me for about five minutes. And it was, oh, this thing don't need me at all. God damn. <laughs> then they want to try to tell me I ain't shit. <laughs> I know, On bitch. the way out. I'm dope. I'm On the dope. way out. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't shit. Bitch, come on. I'm come dope. On, bitch, you got red, but you got Chris Louboutins. You walking around Chris Louboutin, and I'm not dope. Come on, bitch. You went places you never gone. You got shit you never did. You gone places you never gonna go. I've taught you shit you never learned. Now I'm I ain't shit. Okay, whatever, bitch. Case dismiss. <laughs> I judge Judy that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Tell the story, Harry. So 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 you know this is going back and forth, and it's a little bit like every time I ignore her, that's the only time she gets back into it. Yeah. Whatever. So finally, she tells me, yeah, she's getting back together with her boyfriend. And she goes, but I still want to take you out for your birthday. And I'm so shocked. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Fine. Right. So I tell Dante, it's, Derek, it's fine, Derek. It, this is years ago. You have every right to shake your head. Okay. I deserve all, right, all of this. Right. All of it. I'm not saying these are moves I do now. I just want to preface this. Is old. This. this is all. How many years? This is could this? be seven, eight years ago at this point. I don't okay. know. All right. It's my rookie season. I made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. All right. Okay. I made okay. a lot of okay. mistakes. Set it up. And to anyway. be honest, and to be honest, I kept telling him. Hold on, this he, did, he yeah. didn't believe me. You this know, D, how I always tell you, I always say, D, you, you dope, nigga. You just don't realize how dope you are, and you and you go, yeah, yeah, I know it, I know it. And then you, you, uh, you slide. Back. But go ahead. So, so I call up Dante, let him know what's going down. Okay. Dante goes, what? You're not going what? out on your. You're not letting her take you out for your birthday. He goes, get the, call this bitch back right now. <laughs> he goes, call her up right now and tell her you're not. Thanks, but no thanks. So I go at this point, I'm like, all right, you got it. I call her up. I go, listen, I appreciate that you want to do that. But if you're not interested in going out with me, there's no reason to, to do this. She starts bursting into tears on the phone like I would hate to think that this was just a hookup. We'd never hooked up, by the way. A little kiss or something on, on the park bench or something, right? After she I met, after she met Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle, right? <laughs> that's terrible. After that's she rode in Kevin Hart's limo, what the what fuck? Up, kiss. Go ahead. So she starts crying, bursting into tears, and hangs up the phone. And uh, so now we're recording the show that day for whatever by coincidence. I go into the studio. I go, yeah, Dante. Uh, you know, I think she started crying on the phone. I go, <laughs> and then I was I go, I think I'm going to go see her, see what's up, because I can't I don't feel no, like, nigga, what the fuck? 
Yeah, I know. I know. This is, this is what not to do. I get it. I get it. Yeah. That's so funny. I'm letting you know how the Hindenburg crashed. I'm not giving you instructions on how to build a new I'm telling you to do it again. machine. Yeah. So I, I <laughs> these are all this is an autopsy. This is what we're doing. And so Dante, now here's the problem. Dante and I remember this differently, completely differently. I, all I know is I smell dog shit. That's what I saw. <laughs> okay. like, somebody stepped with something, but okay. I remember telling Dante because uh, I was texting her because I did feel bad about it to some extent. But let's be honest. My motives were to try to get back in there. I'm okay. not going to lie. All right. So I was texting her back and forth. She's like, you know, upset and blah, blah, blah. And I go, let me at least see you. I just want to talk, blah, blah, blah. And Dante, in my memory, Dante's like, yeah, go. No, no. At first Dante, I said, fuck that bitch. Don't. Because I wouldn't have told. Here's a, I can't but, see that. Yeah, I can't here's see that. Make, here's the real thing. Why would I tell you, fuck that bitch, call her back and tell her? No. Yeah, if I was you, later going, yo, I, but, but he kept, I told him no. And then he was like. I don't recall that. And he was like, I'm going to go. I was like, all right, go. Go do what you got to do. I you because I remember, you I remember that big head yourself. So go ahead. I remember afterwards. I'm just like, if you had told me not to go, I wouldn't have gone because I was listening <laughs> I, the to it. The first thing I told you was don't go. Not That's go, why yeah. you called her to tell her you wasn't coming. Right, but you to case not go to the thing. Case, right, 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 this right. the case. Right. Did you go over there, <laughs> oh, Derek? Yeah, I mean, you know, oh, yeah. you, yes. you, oh, yeah, you yeah. know. There's no Take reason to get into all that. Whether uh, I went in there, or... <laughs> was the boyfriend there? Was y'all playing cards or something? No, like, no, no, no that... the boyfriend hand. No, no, he's still happened. in rehab. He didn't get out yet. Yeah, so, but he's. Oh, you could have had a she, shot. That could have been a she, shot. No, she was laying, laying in wait for him to get out of rehab. Hold on. Because... Oh, yeah. Here's what. So I go there, right? And I go. Uh, I see her after the thing, you know. And it's weird from the get go. First of all, like, you know, it's one of those things It's New York City apartment. She's got to buzz you in from whatever. And you walk up to the apartment and the door is just like a jar. Like she knows I'm coming because she buzzed me in yeah. and it's just a jar and there's nobody there. I walk in and she's sitting in the living room just on her laptop. The whole demeanor had changed. She wasn't crying. Don't even don't even don't even look up. Just... Doesn't even look up. She keeps typing. That bitch on the is a Batman villain. Exactly. It was it was a James Bond. The only thing she didn't do was turn around a swiveling office chair and hold the cat. Yeah. And she was. Hello, Harry. She got you, man. Oh, but there it was gets worse. It gets worse, D. It gets oh, worse. It worse. Oh, OK. She uh, she, you know, so she just keeps typing. She's like, hey, and she keeps typing. I go, hey, you. uh, How about you just look up at me? We got to are we going to have a conversation or what? What's your deal? She goes and then she closed her laptop very calmly and we get into it i go you know i just want to make sure you're all right but she goes Oof. you know the thing is and it was like a, it was like she was firing me from a it was like a madman scene from a right? job like, that i that i wasn't that, applying for that i wasn't applying for that you and didn't she, you told him not to go to any, anyway I told him not that's to go. we went past that point derek we don't have to revisit <laughs> negativity this is all about uh, the future moving forward Oh, man, she sounds diabolical. Keep going. Oh, shit. So she was a complete and I just I was legitimately concerned. Like I did feel bad because he's a, he's a good dude. Yeah, I don't know. Who, I don't know who that was on the phone, but this was a different person entirely because she was like, let me tell you, uh, I think your problem is that you're looking for a relationship and blah, blah, blah and this and that. And I just kind of felt uncomfortable, like completely rewriting the whole movie script. Mm -hmm. uh and like you know that time you took me to your house and your bed was this made i go what <laughs> oh you made your bed because you wanted to fuck me i mean yeah but no you know what i mean like <laughs> now i'm fucked up because i made my bed and oh no make my bed you me know who either. doesn't make their beds heroin addicts they're not <laughs> meticulous <laughs> they're not known for their they tidiness do it before they first hit like after they first hit, they might make their bed. But Maybe, not, not but they anymore. don't have the discipline. Get up. She was like, "You cleaned up your apartment, and and you had your bed made. Like you were setting me up. Like you were just a whole rewrite of the movie script. It was just yeah. a, a whole. She's and, terrible. Uh, yeah. And oh. uh, and like, and I just was like, "What the fuck?" And I at that point, I was like, "I'm out. Peace." 
See and it. I knew, like, I didn't know it was going to be that bad, but I knew it was going to be bad. This, yeah. but sh- this was a totally different person. She basically had lured me there. I don't know, subconsciously or consciously. Not nigga, she was the same person. Me in the teeth. You just didn't know who he was dealing with in the first place. That's what happened. That's what Maybe. she was. But I think, here's the thing. I think that, one, I lack the skills to control that because I think most women will oh, yeah. end up doing that to you if you lose control oh, yeah. because it's, they have a, to write the script. So I don't even blame her, to be honest with you. As you shouldn't. Anytime it it's fucks me. up, it's your fault. Yeah. It's your fault because you didn't do what you needed. Like, so they're not they're not consciously or cog- cognitively may if you're the if you're the the if you're the the one that's being pursued, and that means gay relationships, lesbian relationships, you're the one being pursued. And now the the person who's being pursued has a sense of, of confidence because they're being pursued, right? And the difference is you have there has to be a, a switch between when you're pursuing her and when she realizes, wow, this this is something I really want to do. And if she hasn't done that, or if she hasn't done that, then you you know, you you're worthless. And she don't respect you, you know. So that's why she was like, she's and then she has to justify why she spent the time with you. Or why, why she's you. leaving you. More yeah, than she, anything. Yes, Not even why she spent the time with you. That's irrelevant. Because yeah. that's she oh, spent that, the time with me because I was great. Yeah, but mm. she's saying, well, you were great, but you were just setting me up because you were trying to you were right. Trying but to... I'm saying that's justifying on the back yeah. end. A oh, woman yeah. has to justify no matter what it is. So she has to justify why she's with you in the beginning, which also yeah. can be negative because we've seen plenty of women go out with a dirt ball piece of shit, but sure. they justify why they're with them. Derek. <laughs> Are you giving yourself the crucifix? <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> a dirt ball piece of shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's, talking to, he's talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> my ears are ringing. Is my mic on? I, I, I'm in. I'm here. A, a present and, and accounted for. <laughs> oh, you weren't taking attendance? I here? thought you guys were doing roll call. My bad. My bad. Did Sorry. you say ink shit? Present? <laughs> that, but, a so a woman boy. has to. He's, he's a fuckboy. I. I I'm here, somebody go present. <laughs> That's on my business card. I thought you were Don't talking forget, about me. Check out Derek's fucking album. Buy Derek's album. Oh, Fuck yeah. boy. Best Fuck shit. Ground the- Zero. Yeah. No shit. No dope. No dope. No dope. No dope. No dope. Yeah. But so she. So Harry comes back to me and he was like, "Man," uh, and I'm like, this "Bitch, <laughs> lured me in, lured me in, and then gave me the super kick and threw me through the barbershop yeah, window." She, she, with the with the Sean Sean Michaels super kick. She gave me the Sean Michaels super music. kick, the sweet chin music, and then threw me right through the barbershop window. Because you went it's over crazy, it, bro. man. That's I, tough, bro. Yes. I'm sorry, I did. bro. That girl Black Widow Spider, man. <laughs> crazy. But I'm saying they all are. They're all capable. Hey, but you didn't even get the hit. You didn't even get the hit nah. though. That's Please. on me. It's all nah. on me. It's all my yeah. fault. I messed all it up. All the girls I've been played by recently, at least at least I I, I tested the warmth. And then right. yeah. Just Test the you, warm. you put the thick in the warm. Yeah. You put your toe in the water. Is that I what you're saying? Warm. I did the warm. You put the thick in the warm. <laughs> Check the oil. <laughs> Get a, I got a feel for it. And then they was and like, well, they, I was like, oh, all right. Oh, uh, I still kind of like one. Like, like, right, so, and you were like, all right, fair enough. Well, fair <laughs> enough. Nothing gay. Yeah, nothing yeah. Long. <laughs> Case of rice, rice, rice. A lot of those. Case of rice, rice. Case of rice, rice. <laughs> Then Harry came to me for 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 sympathy, man. Uh, uh, I was like, nigga, I told you. <laughs> he goes, I don't remember. I don't it remember. You. It, t- uh, it was you. It's it my was fault. in the paper. I, t- I showed you the paper, but you didn't it was my paper. fault. It was my fault. Nigga, I told you. I, you. You did. I was like, do what you want to do. <laughs> That's not the way I remember it, man. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, See, now, the way I remember is like you're going, okay, and then but you remember it going, okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I remember. I remember. Oh, all right. That, that I don't know. Sense, I, listen, listen, here's what it could be. I was just so enthralled by another opportunity at it because I to, didn't have to, the to numbers. To put the thick in the warm. That I just took the verbal you agreement so that you said. You got nothing. That I, <laughs> Dante that's said, it. well, if you think that's a good idea, go for it, I guess. <laughs> Don't be enthralled. Right. You were enthralled. I was the wrong thing. And everything, by the way, it was all that came together by accident. Like mm-hmm. I was just kind of 
it wasn't any level of skill. Like the first time she hit me up, because we'd known each other from work. We had worked together. So we met at like a party again. And then she, you know, we texted, but I didn't think she was into me. So I just kind of didn't give her any burn. And, and, and she that was turned, about a two and a half, three. Well, she With wasn't acne. two and a half, three. That's, that's yeah, not, she that's was not the case. Fucking, not, that's not true. Let's oh. not. She looked like Ethel Mertz. That's <laughs> I don't know who that is, but sound ugly. Ethel I love I love Lucy. The oh, the man. neighbor, not the Lucy. Neighbor. Not Lucy. Lucy was the not fuckable Lucy. one. Yeah, not she the, not wasn't that the fuckable. One. The other one. I'm saying yeah. in that world. In that she was a haggard lady. She, she was very haggardly. She looked haggardly. like the lady, the lady who watched over the girls in Facts of Life. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> playing fucking gypsy bitches. That's that's not. <laughs> She's yeah, a, I got a reputation. Was she Hold Irish on. or what, what are we she, doing? Was she, she have was, an accent? Or no? She was Canadian. Yeah, some yeah, some A. Which is like <laughs> played by a Canadian. Yeah, I'm fucking you, A. Who <laughs> lost more points for that? You could get Wait, played anyway internationally. And you got Andre. played by a Canadian. So that's a double whammy. The that's nicest that's people in the world. Whammy, whammy. Oh, you got Canadian bacon. You got, bacon. You got <laughs> Canadian bacon. Which is just uh, ham. It's just ham. It's just ham. Just you ham. got ham. I got ham. You got ham, Harry. This you bitch got ham. hammed me. Yeah, never happened again, though. Never happened never again. Never happened again. Never happened again. I learned from Harry, we like, we like uh, maybe we could be, nah, not be. Get your balls back. I don't want to be a friend. <laughs> and, I, how many times have <laughs> somebody said, we should, we should be friends. Nah, I'm no. not. I got friends. <laughs> I got enough because friends. Thank I got you, friends. If you're not gonna let me put the thick in the warm, yeah, the thick in the warm, <laughs> thick in the warm. If we're not lighting this candle. <laughs> yeah, but it happens. It happens. It and, happens. And then it's like you, but you start to realize, man, it's just like she brought nothing to the table. No, she didn't bring nothing to the table. All she did was show up, have a great time, meet great people, do great and things, and then cried, and then cried, cried, and then. And made you feel like you messed up. That's yeah. woo, yeah, man. That's diabolical. Wow. Mm. That's what and my that's best. up there with Jenny from Forrest Gump, nigga. Huh. That's that's yeah. up to like you still win because Forrest Look. got an age baby out the deal, but you know, it's just, uh, in all fairness to Jenny, she didn't want to bang Forrest Gump. <laughs> I mean, you know. You know, she banged him in Then the again, end. I mean Forrest did meet several presidents. That's it. Look, and, look. So he, the is the he did Served run across the country. And, it was a time when me and Harry used to argue, mm. and I was saying, like, you know how I go at you, D games. All I was like, nigga, what yeah. you? He, I was going. Harry would be like, no, it's this, no, no, and like you, you know how uh, games always goes. Wait, wait till I got my my star and roll. I'm like, nigga, nobody. No, I, I confess, I'm guilty for that. I yeah, no, that. no, I go. Nobody she's dating is on TV right now. Nobody. Nobody she's dating is as funny as you. Nobody. Nobody is as da- nobody has a dope life like you. Even if she knows motherfuckers, those are those are peripheral hookups where she might know somebody famous and then it's like you live this shit every day and yeah. you just and you don't even recognize because it's so common for you. You know, even, look, here's a here's a crazy thing. Even D games, even your crew. Your whole Philly crew, Monroe, Chloe, the six, uh, the six the, point, yeah, the whole crew, right? All of them, all of them came from Philly. They doing their thing, yeah, on TV, writing on TV, producing stuff, Reg. doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Shout out my nigga Reg. He's gonna be insecure tonight. Yes, yeah, yeah Reg, shout out to Reg, Reg Conquest. Reg Conquest gonna show. be insecure tonight. Niggas yeah. is doing yeah. things. Niggas is doing things, and and but you you live in this, and you still questioning. You know the warm, like if the warm yeah. is like if you think about all the sacrifices you made yeah. to achieve the things that you and, and you yeah. giving it all up for the warm, <laughs> <laughs> all for the warm, just to put the thick in the warm. But hey, like, but I, I see what you're saying. Dante basically told me, Dre Harry, that I am always worthy of the warm. Yes. Yeah, always. I'm more than worthy of the warm, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Until I, t- till a month where he don't see me for like a month, <laughs> <laughs> and and he, well, he that, believes it less. The main depending on how fat the ass is. Yeah. Uh, nah, look, I'm 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 
I'm late, worthy of the warm, him. but this warm. Uh, when, you're, when you're not around and the only one giving him advice is uh, Reggie Conquest and Monroe Martin. Yeah. Well, Monroe's always been my my ace in the hole. Like he's got me women that I never yeah. thought I could get because he yeah. was like, "Nigga, get out of your brain," and he'll go and talk to the girl. Yo, he like you, and then I'll be like, "Oh man," and then you got to man up. And go, yeah. you know, forget Let me my put friend. you on the spot. Up. Yeah. yeah. That's he'll like, go, that's like when niggas go. And he'll walk over to the girl and be best like, Best man hit, best man hit, best man hit. <laughs> and he go, You hit his hand, he hit the dude. Now y'all fight. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all fighting. <laughs> it's the it's the insecurity. It's the insecurity. But what's crazy is for me is i see so many especially dudes com in comedy dudes who work so hard at what their craft is and to be worthy and then they don't even take credit for being worthy they just be like oh well you got nice titties i guess the last 20 years of me wake staying out late not eating sleeping on couches i guess it's worth that right because those are equivalent that's the equivalent you got that's the wild. Thing, the thing that you got born, you was born with, like you was born with your vagina. You fat ass. You was born with it. You didn't do nothing extra. Like you didn't buy it. You didn't earn it. You just you woke up. What a bad. Well, we haven't people. talked about that in a while. The Super Bowl, uh, the private box at the Super Bowl, right? Oh, anytime, yeah, like we, yeah, good. Anytime, like during the Super Bowl, they cut to the owner's box. Who's in the owner's box? The owner, Mark the team, Cuban, the owner of the team, Tom the Brady, former Hall of Fame quarterback who's retired now. And then some chick with a triple D rack. That's who's in some there. Some chick, some bad chick in the corner who nobody knows. I wonder who that is. Some oh, Brazilian all these model. Things, all these, oh, this nigga's just got uh, four Super Bowl rings. The owner. This nigga's a billionaire. Hall of Fame quarterback. Owns, uh, oh, who, who, who is that? Who oh, is that's the, Sheila. That's, that's, dude, that's Sheila. Sheila. That's, that's Sheila. the nigga from uh, that's Avengers. Lisa. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> the, that's Jerry the Jones. The Hawk nigga. The Jerry Hawk Jones. Nigga from, Who's the Hawk nigga from uh, Jeremy Renner? <laughs> no, the, the other one, the black dude, the, Falcon, the, the Falcon, Fal Falcon, black Falcon, Falcon, black Falcon. Falcon is there. Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. Is that Lady Kravitz? Lady Kravitz and, and this there's some bad chick and this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. So that's what you got to do to get in the owners' box. You got to own the team. You got to win the win Super Bowl, four, go in the Hall four, of Fame. Four Super Bowl rings. You got you to get nominated for an Oscar or a Grammy. You got to be in the Avengers, right? Or you just got to be a hot chick. And then you, there's one hot chick. You never see it. All you got to do is be dope. You just be dope. But it never yeah. works in reverse. There's never just a like a himbo guy just like a fucking yeah, magic himbo Mike dude. Nice. A himbo well, nice. Uh, let's yeah. be like a himbo well, look, nice guy. What's, what's the chick that wrote, wrote Waiting to Exhale and she had that little young gay dude that was with her? I don't uh, know. I don't remember who wrote who was Waiting to Exhale. Who the chick from Exhale. Waiting to Exhale? And she had oh, some uh, Angela uh, Bassett? Angela Bassett? No, no. The, the one that wrote it. Let me oh, see. Oh. I love uh, she wanted a bunch of sister girl books. Chloe read all of them books. Um, all her books. <laughs> Wait and <laughs> exhale. Uh, What's her name? Uh, I, I know exactly you're talking about. Collins? She had braids. Was it? Is it? Yeah. Where's Hold on. Who's that? What's Terry oh, McKill? Mc, Mc, McMillan? Terry, Terry oh, McMillan. Terry. Yes, Terry. <laughs> uh, Terry McMillan. <laughs> Terry McMillan. <laughs> Terry McMillan. Yes. Right. So she had. Oh, a little, you went and found out. She had a little, she had a little boyfriend, a little, uh, but he was clearly gay. This nigga had lip gloss. His lip gloss was, his lip gloss was popping. Oh was yeah, like, he was off. It was in his eyes. It he was, was in like, his, the gay was in his eyes. I love her. I was her. like, she had the gloss in the thing, but if it's we, in your eyes, you yeah, don't. Yeah, he was like this. He was like, she married she, Jonathan goes, Plummer in 1998, who came goes, out as gay during like, their we marriage. We love to shop together. I was like, mm, <laughs> this nigga. Nigga, we just bought a duvet together. I'm like, yeah. And she's an old black, lady. Yeah. old black lady. Old black lady spent life. That. That's weird. Spent spent her whole life trying to trying to you know achieve greatness with her writing and whatnot. And then it got to the end of the road where the the you know the the the, the, the pussy was dis it was depreciating. You know it was depreciating every every year. And so she grabbed the first little young dude. She had money and she was keeping this nigga in the lap of luxury or whatever. And boom, boom, boom. Married the dude. And then the dude ended up, he was going on a lot of trips. I think he <laughs> got on trips. 
go on a like, lot of trips to the Caribbean where you don't got to wear a lot of shit, a lot of clothes, speedos and shit. Boom, divorce. So it's and not boom. it's not even a male thing. It's just it's where you start. I, and I always say this. It's it's weird. Like you been with you for your whole life. Like I, I'm 53 years old. I've been with me for 53 years. So when I meet some, if I if I ever meet somebody, they don't know who I am. I know who I am. It's my job to tell them who I am. It's my job to tell them how dope I am. If I act like I'm not dope, and I don't mean say, yo, I'm this, yo, yo, so you know, I get it in. I'll be in the studio doing not that. I'm saying where you're working every day, you you and and when you when you have time. Like when you when you rearrange the things that you need to do, your priorities just to be with somebody because you think that their time with you is more important than you work and being the best person that you are. You're telling them that you're not worthy, that that they're more important. It's more mm. they're important more important than the shit you got to mm. do. And it's not it's not unreasonable to say, look, we live in this world where you got to work, you got to earn money, you got to eat, you got to keep a roof over your head. These things are more important than this relationship, at least now. You, I mean, you, you, you make compromise and you fit it in. But if you're willing to compromise everything, you're telling her, I'm, I ain't, I'm not worth shit. Mm -hmm. And she goes, oh, well, he's telling me. Really, who's telling you that you ain't shit is you. This chick, you, you didn't get, Harry didn't get the thick and the warm. No. He did, went out, took a dope plate, balloons. Champagne, balloons. fucking yeah, strawberries and balloons? chocolate. It was her birthday. It was oh. the whole, that was the whole concept oh, of it. Coconut, coconut macaroni. Yeah, you know what? Hold on, hold on, Dante. Hey, Andre, go fuck yourself. That was the only good move I made in that whole fucking thing. That one I will stand by to this fucking day. That was yeah, charming as shit. Balloons? And, yeah, I know, Andre, because all you got to do is a couple fucking cr three crunches, and then you got judge a big titty contest, and it's easy for you. For? <laughs> it's easy for you. Some of us easy have to plan lives. in ahead. Easy you just show up. Lives. You know who you are, Andre? You're on the basketball court in your Timberlands. You know that guy? <laughs> Scoring 23. No stretching, no nothing. <laughs> hey, yeah, just hey, just uh, let me get in. Let me get in. And that's why I'm happy, glad he got the corona. <laughs> ah, fuck you. <laughs> Some of us have to game prep. Some of us have to plan in advance, have strategy. Balloons. Balloons and a surprise. Balloons. And yeah. all this. Chocolate covered cam uh, macaroons. Yeah. Chocolate and covered strawberries. No in the wall. He, he, made, mm. he made banana walnut bread fresh. Banana walnut bread. Yeah. Uh, he, but Andre just shows up scratch? there in his, in his church shoes. In my scratch? church shoes with some black socks. Some and tall scores black a triple-double. <laughs> Andre show up with some skateboard sneakers and a T-shirt. Yeah. And dress socks, too. And yeah. Black dress socks. <laughs> Dirty. Like, awful. They cling to your leg. <laughs> on, a with a out and shit. Yeah. on a fixed bike. <laughs> on a fixed bike with no brakes. Just shows up. <laughs> I bet I got to fix it. Yeah, no breaks. You, you can get on the you can get on the handlebars. Like I ain't got no Uber money. <laughs> Yo, I thought I just broke up with a chick and then rode off on my bike once. You did what? I had this chick I was dating and she she got on my nerve about something and she was like, "Oh, meet me, meet me at Popeyes." She probably asked you to say, "I love you." And See, you're like, I met what? her in front of the Popeyes. I biked up to See, her. She in her car, see, bro. Let, let's give me this. Let me in her car. Uh, Andre. Get what he's supposed to do when a chick tells you to meet her at Popeyes. You gotta <laughs> meet her at Popeyes. That's true. I you know pulled I mean? up on my bike and she was like, give, talking all kind of shit. I'm like, I'm not fucking with this. And I just pedaled off, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> pedal off. I pedal off. Pedal you off, nigga. Pedal off. With no I, breaks. No breaks. Like I was the man in that situation. She he, drove away. He, she drove he away. She burned by me when she left. But I yeah. Roll. yeah, but then Derek, she hit a red light, and who was the winner then? And then he Andre, was going, right? baby, <laughs> still going, baby, still going. Oh, oh, you got to stop, huh? <laughs> That's so funny. Who's the winner now? Mitch, who you lost got a kid now? And the dude left, so I still won. That's it. Oh wow! And you got you know, to keep the biscuits, and you got to keep the biscuits. I remember having a chick tell me, tell me, oh, your 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 aesthetics. <laughs> Don't fit the, don't fit the, what? Oh, I thought you was, you thought I was not dope? Really? That's what you thought? 
Come on, dude. I'm like, I'm 53 years old. I know me better than you know me. You know me for a couple of minutes, and now you want to tell me who I am? Come on, really? really? Come on, man. 53 years, you met. When did you eat me? Thursday. <laughs> but you know me better than Thursday. You know me better than I know me Thursday. Yeah. God. Yeah, you know uh, me better than I know me Thursday. Okay. And I, Thursday. I'm 53 years, I've been doing me, getting up, looking at me, brushing my teeth. Yeah. You know, moisture, <laughs> moisturizing my 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 elbows, everything. I know I know where I'm ashy. I know I, my elbows get low, but I'm I know what my fucking shortcomings is. But you don't know. I I can't even be I can't even be insecure about my elbows because you don't even know my elbows is ashy yet. I don't even care about my ash. I let it stay. We know. We know. We all, nobody aware. nobody is doubting that. I just took a shower for the first time yesterday. Word. How long you was time? out? What do you mean, first time? Ever. Yeah. Four days. Ever. What's <laughs> wrong with you, man? Let me tell you, he was, he was, um, he was rubbing himself down with curry and ackies. Fuck and up, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Greeks, myself down with curry. You know the Greek, Greeks used to put olive oil on their skin and scrape it off with a knife. That's how they would take a bath. Oh, true shit. Wow, I know a lot I mean, of. This. But that makes sense for back then, though. So was it like the oils take pick up the impurities and then they? Well, they would, they would take like a dull knife and scrape the dirt off. Uh, All right, whatever works. Oh, hey man, I mean, Look, dirty. When, the, when the showers start popping, like it's, it wasn't that long for high Black people. In places, showers in, places like, in Europe, it still yep. ain't really working like Dang. that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dirty it's, like that. I can't. Yeah. Cause black people, I just I know we come from the Moors and the gold. Where yeah, yeah. Cheap, yeah. like because we like being, you know, oh. I wear I wear cologne to sleep sometimes. Most times, <laughs> when I take my shower at night, I deodorant yeah. a little squirt. I squirt the thigh, the inner thigh, in case you know. No, oh, I smells like this nigga can put of cold. cologne on your inner thigh, Dante. This nigga, this nigga Don't thigh you ever make like... a gay joke again? And you in your bedroom, <laughs> your inner thigh. Get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't lift well, my leg. I just go cap, cap. If I had to yeah. do it, especially if I do a girl's coat over, that's right. not that. Or do this. That's. that's... Well, you know. See, that, look, that nigga Andre. He he will rub uh Escovite on his. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> with pepper, the onions from Escovit. Escovit. Ugh. Escovit. Nah, good. Derek, you don't know nothing about that fish, bro. That's I don't. I don't. I, I don't want. I don't want. To, I don't want to go. I don't want to go down on a girl and then smell Escovit. Though I don't want that either. But what? Fair point. Little can, little can of cold spray across the end. Th- Boom. It's, just, it's it's thoughtful. What are these? Just cut it. <laughs> It's However thoughtful. you want to go about it. However you got to go about and it. Sh- and shave your balls. How you want somebody to lick mm. your balls and you don't shave them? That's not fair. That's not mm. fair. That's just a ridiculous Body request. Body groom. Yeah. Your hair looks like yeah. Harry's beard. Your dick looks <laughs> Harry like Harry's got a little beard. Hitler patchy. Stash, and I got a what? <laughs> You got a Hitler stash because the two sides don't grow in, but the middle. No, it, it only looks like that. It's weird how this thing appears on camera. <laughs> got a little, a little mini not. Hitler stash. You got to brush it. You got to comb that out so you look less dictatorish. No, just on <laughs> Italian on camera. Take the dictator out of it. You got it's real dictator mouth. Not he real. Look real a, he look yeah. real authoritarian. <laughs> Totalitarian government face. You look like a yeah. fascist. That shit look crazy. You fucking you fascist. <laughs> he look like he kills Jews. Harry look like Mussolini right now. Right? So take care of that. He's like, that is your Jews. All of them. Yeah. I want to see them. Whatever. But yeah, Listen, if we, this keeps going on, you know, when you got to trim the beard, everybody ends up with a Hitler mustache for at least five seconds. Uh-uh. Not, see not what us. it looks like. Uh-uh. Not me. No. No, I have a mustache all over, but no. I you don't trim when well, you trim it down. You've never tried it with the hit to see what it looks like a Hitler mustache. No, anymore. nobody does. That's Michael, Michael Jordan did. Yeah, Michael Jordan did. Michael did do that. Yes, but Michael he was Jordan. trying. To, he was like, I remember. So, he was so. He was like, I'm so dope. I'm gonna. I'm gonna reclaim. You think that, that was on purpose? The commercial with his during the Haynes commercial. This is arrogance. It's him going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the Hitler mustache and make it dope. Watch. 
It ain't and nobody. Though. Nobody really called him Hitler. Nobody said he. Nobody had Hitler noticed. Monster. Nobody really noticed. I was like that nigga's Every, I, I guarantee you, everyone on set noticed, but nobody could say sixty-eight points nothing. against the Knicks. It's like, come on, hey, come on. He had dude. shiny shoes on. Niggas yeah, was worried yeah. about the shoes he had on. We weren't worried about his mustache. Nobody got oh, worse fashion than, than Michael Jordan. See, that that's the thing. See, Harry, Harry's only half white. And then so he he gives us a a, a, a window into I I'm not at all white. Even known that 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 uh white dudes do the Hitler mustache just to see what it looks like. We would that see you how do we anything when you shave. You do a lot of crazy shit. You do the sideburns for half Black a second. Dudes do not mm. do the Hitler mustache. Yeah, That's incredible. Seen. The that's only thing I thought it. about doing was yeah. leaving just a stash. But that's it. The Lando Calrissian? Yeah, just have just the, the mustache and everything else. Yeah, I've done that, too. You might, you might get away with that. Yeah, I just, maybe. I yeah, ain't never pulled off the Hitler my stash. Favorite, my not, favorite bro, thing. You got to keep the thing. Yeah, yeah just keep yeah. the full joint. My I favorite thing anyone ever, ever did, that. everyone ever did, was Yarmir Yaga, the hockey player. He had a Hitler mustache, but then he kept it going with the soul patch underneath all the way down. So it was like a Hitler 2000 thing, like a future <laughs> Hitler. Like a T, a letter T. Yeah, like, like he, let it, he let it keep going Hitler. down. Yeah. So it wasn't I rocked, technically... I rocked the, slave, the, fa- the flavor saver, too. I rocked that. Just to... The first time I ever heard anyone refer to the mustache as a flavor saver, that made me laugh <laughs> for three days straight. That was flavor me saver, in high man. school. Yeah, you call the it a flavor, flavor saver. saver. <laughs> you gotta get the, I keep the flavor saver. When you do this shit, when you, after you eat it, you be like, <laughs> sniffing your mustache? <laughs> I can no, still I, pussy I on scoop it. in and go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dante. Dante doesn't need the stash to do it. Yeah. Dante goes, "Hey, you know what? Let me get a whiff of that again." Yeah. I put the I put the pussy all the way around my head. I go <laughs> <laughs> like a sea <laughs> mask and just lick around. <laughs> you know, I was worried after last week's oh. show that the show was too serious during the coronavirus. I like. We internal rebounded very Columbus, quickly. Cunnilingus, internal. Oh, that's funny. Uh, he put it on like a luchador <laughs> mask. <laughs> put the bitch on like a scully. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, girl. like Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Bre- yeah. Like Rey Mysterio. <laughs> El hijo de Santo. La lucha libre. That's when you wear your girl like the symbiote, nigga. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> So funny. Yeah, that's that's the that's the thing. You gotta know the yeah, value, man. Well, you, you gotta know the value. You gotta only way you can know the value. And so I, I'll get a lot of dudes call me. Yo, how you how you maintain that confidence? The confidence comes, the confidence comes from the work. Like when you're doing the work, then nobody can't tell you that you didn't do the work. You if you do it, but here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. You you kind of do like Gaines does this where he doesn't equate. The same, like, I always, here's, all right, so here's, here's my checklist. And this is for women, men, anything. Anytime somebody say something to me, first thing I go is, who is this nigga? Who this nigga? Especially if he's a, if, if he has a critique, a, 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 a quest, you know, like, who, Criticism. who's this nigga? Who is this nigga? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, this nigga he live with his mom. All right, fair enough. I don't and I don't I don't discount it like that. Live with his mom. This nigga borrowed, borrowed five five dollars from me, so this nigga's forty and he needs a ball for if you forty and you need to borrow five dollars, nigga. Uh, kill yourself. <laughs> you have not made good decisions. The other day I was on I was on uh Canal Street and it was this dude selling the bubble gun. You know Put the soap in, you pull the trigger yeah. in the bubble. Yo, if your your business is selling the bubble gun on Canal Street, nigga, pack it in, yo. It's over. It's done. It's, it's done. Kill yourself. Well, what if he came from like some small village in Yemen? Nigga never had nothing. And this hey, then it's relative. Got. Then it's relative. If you if you from Yemen and then all of a sudden you got this this corporate business of you selling bubble, bubble guns, guns on <laughs> Canal Street, you made bubble it. Guns. You made it. If you, you go back it, to your village and be like, yo, I'm the bubble. I'm the, the bubble, bubble gun nigga. I'm the bubble gun dude. Yeah. The mo- I'm the mogul. BGN. You go back, you go back to Yemen. With you could run for president of Yemen. $35 and a, and a case of bubble gun. And they'll be like, yo, we should make this nigga the prime minister or whatever goofy yeah. shit. <laughs> I got at in Yemen. Who I mean, goes? in Yemen, that guy's getting laid left and right. Cause he sell a bubble. Cause it's bubble gun. It's bubble gun. Come 
come on, man. It's, but you can't. But if you're doing the work, if you're doing the work, and today, yo, I got my um my Nintendo Switch. Uh, cause I'm still shopping like a fucking idiot. Anyway, but <laughs> but I got the Nintendo Switch, and I did the boxing fit shit. Have right. you done that shit? Nah, nigga, that shit is no joke. I just work out outside. Yeah, nigga, cause you're Jamaican. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah, yo. Andre got a coconut fact. tree in his backyard. He just climbs up and down the motherfucker instead of a stairmaster. <laughs> <laughs> just wait. How do you maintain a coconut tree in Queens? It's hard. This nigga oh, knows. Niggas, been, Jamaican niggas know how to grow shit. You nah, that I mean? you have a full on like tomato tree and all of that. All that, right? Yeah, yeah thyme and all of that in the backyard. So Andre take he take one of his Time. tubes, take yeah. one of his tube socks, and wrap around the back of the tree, hold his tube, and <laughs> what with his. Them Jamaican two socks are that long. They long. Yeah, with the the two socks that y'all wear are that long. That they got the stripes on them. <laughs> and the old <laughs> five from when Fubo when Fubo sold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> two socks. The oh, old five jersey. Better do that sentence. I ain't trying to hear it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Them, yeah. Them socks come with a pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> And, like a, and a certain pathfinder and a and a table saw in case yeah. <laughs> in case somebody like needs some cabinets. <laughs> yeah. Me one, me one, me one, me one socks and drawers. Oh, uh, we were, uh, one doubles and corn. The um that's a different country. Uh, what doubles Jamaican is already doubles? That's Trini. 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 All right, nigga, nobody cares, but all right. <laughs> you, you made a distinction. Andre, you never ever met anybody from Tobago ever? Hi. I don't know the difference. I don't know why they have that. Yeah, what's the difference between Trinidad and Tobago? That's the, the same thing. island. Right? It's just you, the... I never met the nobody from Tobago. It's uh, Turks and Caicos. What? They just merge. It's like when they do a merger. You ever heard of Turks and Caicos? Yeah. Turks and Caicos. Yeah, I heard Turks and Caicos. Do yeah, something. No, what, the fuck? what the fuck is that? That's what I'm the saying. island of like, Turks, Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos, oh, Caicos. Caicos is the other yeah. oh. It's no, a Turks, Turks and, and Caicos. Caicos. It's That's one like island. Haitians and Dominicans. No, no, because Haitians and Dominicans are they technically separate. two separate countries. Yeah. Trinidad yeah, and Tobago is one country. Is and it? Turks and yeah. Caicos is the same. Yeah. It's Trinidad and Tobago. I've never heard a nigga say that. The what name is so Trinidad like, and Tobago. Providence. I I from Tobago. I never heard a nigga say that ever. I from Trin- everybody from Trinidad. 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 Is- I've never heard anybody say they from Tobago. I from Tobago. Nigga, where's this nigga's gonna live in the annex? It's like across <laughs> the street from Trinidad, like right. <laughs> it's across the street from Trinidad. Well, the like, hate, the hate the hate right, I don't know. <laughs> it's like all um, I know is um, uh, the only thing I know about Trinidad and Tobago. One of them niggas gave uh, Hussein Bolt work last Olympics. Yeah, some fast nigga from Trinidad. Trinidad, from Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. He gave Boston some work. Right, that's all I know. He was from Trinidad. Jamaicans broke every record for like how oh, many? Oh, this thing getting sensitive. Oh, this oh, thing is oh look mad. at you, look at you, man. You no, know I mean, yeah, Shelly right. in one for the women last time. Watch you know your mouth. Yeah, you funny. I, I keep saying Dre is mad LGBTQ. <laughs> you mad LGBTQ? No matter. That's what you said is LGBTQ, nigga. No, Yo. but we we get niggas You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm African American. We won everything. No, the fuck you didn't. You had some nigga named Tyson Gay that lost every year. Shut up. Yeah. I'm talking Shut about. Up. I'm talking about track. I'm talking about life. Okay. Oh, I'm oh, talking about oh. life. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, life. Yeah, yeah. Y'all winning everything. No, no, no. Look how America doing right the fuck now. Nigga, look how the world is doing right now. America ain't doing too hot. Jamaica only got like what thirty cases. They shut the shit down. Nobody. Nigga, that's America's number one. one Dre, don't you they took that's, that shit number one disease, too. Hold on, that's because Jamaica don't have all the numbers. Y'all only get no, a certain testing. amount of numbers. Nah, and the motherfucker that and, brought it to the country was some white uh, bitch leaving from England. Nigga, not and, and, testing. They not Jamaica's not allowed to use the whole numbers. Like one in a hundred, they can open up from forty five. They can't one, legally two, go three. past one hundred. After forty five, they gotta go back to one. They go That's two, so one, two, two, <laughs> yeah. three. <laughs> <laughs> the Jamaican numerical system is you different. They, from they, can't af- you, they can't afford all they the numbers, afford- Dante? All they can't afford- Shut up, oh, Hitler. God damn. One, <laughs> two, Hitler. Shut up. three. Uh, Hitler. <laughs> Back to why. 
<laughs> uh, I give Andre a hard time. One, I'm just happy to see two. he's good. He's good. <laughs> Shut up. What? He's good. He, he's doing Shut good. Up. I can tell you. I'm happy he's doing good. He's doing good. You know why he's I know he's good doing good? Because he was he was shook. He was really scared. He didn't, he was, you know why he told me he loved me? Dre was wow. like, Yo, I love you, bro. And you know, Dre, I don't say that shit. I've been starting uh, to say that to everybody now. Say I say I miss you now. I say I love you. I ask how your mom's doing, and I mean it. This nigga said, but he said, yo, I love you, bro. When I gave well, him the, the, the elderberry and the, he was like, I love you, bro. I was like, I love you too, man. Like, no, nah, but Andre, too. he been he been nicer ever since after his uh Clemens Park commercial or or, or, <laughs> or Coney Island commercial, he started getting real gigs. He started, yo, man, it's good to see y'all, man. It's good to see you. <laughs> Cause he was mean. This nigga yeah. used to be mean. I've been, I've been so working like, on him. They, they, I've been working on him. I've been oh, on mean. Him. Yo, this dude was mean, bro. Nigga, we was like, yo, bang, bang, bro. We <laughs> had a race. I can't even argue. <laughs> we had a race. Nigga, eat your couscous. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even argue, bro. Dre's mean. I'm so glad Dre's, you came around. <laughs> Dre's, Dre's emotion, do we say Dre's favorite emotion is uh, is uh, hunger? Right. <laughs> like, what? How you feel? Hungry? That's why it's I'm, therapy I'm sessions. Are... Yeah. I'm chilly. <laughs> I'm chilly. And, nigga, that's not emotion. Nigga. My girl <laughs> just agreed with you, bro. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Your girl said, this girl was like, said, yeah, right on. Said, You're right Dre's on. Dre's only emotion is hunger. She said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your girl is dead. Let me say hi to your girl, Dre. Well, she's civilian. Maybe she don't want to be on camera. She don't want to be on. Let me yeah. say hello to you, girl. If you want to, you. She don't want to. That's fine. She's Come civilian. Come and say hello to you, your man's I, father. I think. I think after this beating, <laughs> Andre Andre got this. Maybe she doesn't want to be associated on I'm not, camera. I'm not even gonna okay him to be married if I don't meet you first. So oh, no. you gotta <laughs> ask me for his hand in marriage. <laughs> So you can be uh, scary Dante, if you want to. You gonna walk him down the aisle? Walk him down. You gonna, you gonna, oh, you so gonna give him away? They gonna be, away? They gonna be like, no. who who gives this man to? <laughs> I'm gonna pull Dre's veil up, and put it over. I'm gonna kiss him on the cheek. And, and then you gonna like, cry. Gonna be... Then you gonna go sit in the, the pew and start crying. Oh. Me and Dre's mom. I had a good talk with your mom. Your mom's cool as shit. Hell yeah, yeah. Oh boy, this I is how it starts. I was like, that's nice. I'm happy I finally met and shit. Yeah, because you suck. You suck. That's, I mean, well, now yeah, she bro. knows where you've been going every day for five years. She's like, where are you <laughs> going every week? I was real polite and good. Real, say your mom don't think I'm a maniac, too. I was <laughs> like, oh man, it's so good to meet you, mom. Bah, 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 bah. I turned the charm up to like 12. Yep. She was like, what's she say about shit. what she say about me, Dre? She said I was cool. Yeah, she was like, I love Dante. He's nice. Appreciate him for bringing shit. Nothing mm -hmm. but compliments, especially since you brought the shit that like got us checked out. That's it. So you don't won. You don't won in here. You Andre, good. that by the way, that was supposed to be your job, motherfucker. You're the one who's <laughs> supposed to leave the house for everybody else. That's what happened. I did exactly that. It ended up in this situation. Oh, uh, that's how you ended up at Walmart. Yeah, nigga, we went to Rite Aid. Rite Aid was closed. Then we bounced to Walgreens, and then we got home. It was like, uh oh, we feel weird. Gang. That's that's how I felt about going to Walgreens for the last seven years. By the way, anytime I go to Walgreens, <laughs> I always Walgreens. feel dirty. I had, to, you yes, know, I had to, you know, I was coughing for a while, like in the beginning, but it was like early before the shit blew up. Then, then my wife had to cough. The baby, even the baby, was like, oh, oh, <laughs> they said, <laughs> they the said like, that there's a chance that most Americans. Had it already. Uh, yeah, last September because it was a, a air, it was already out, and I remember that when I came back from LA, I had a crazy call for like two weeks. Yeah, and it was like they was like, "There's a chance that you got it and beat it already." Yeah, and it was like yeah. you don't know. There's no way to find out or test the shit. Like, I'm about to get my blood to save. So me. I was gonna ask you, Doc. So now I'm watching stuff like it's like this, like white ladies talking about we're too complicit, and they they like calling for revolution. Like, how long you think it's gonna be before people go? You can't have me in the house no more, and they start fighting the cops. Like, no, it ain't gonna happen, nigga. Yeah, because now happen. your your health is at risk. It's not just about yeah, no, your it's own not person. even that. Here, I'll you tell you a little. Scared going out. I'll tell you a little thing. I went by the park, right? They closed down the park, which I'm glad they did that. Last week, I went there. Everybody was out there sunning, playing soccer, blah blah blah. It's gone. Here's how they closed down the park. They just put a little piece of tape that and says they just go. It's closed. And they, they just went. It's closed. And everybody like, goes, I guess it's closed. I guess it's closed. Like, 
here's the the government goes, hey, do us a favor, please stay home. We don't want a lot of people dying. Like fuck that. Hey, uh, you put a tape up. You tape. You're like, I'm not bending over. I'm not bending yeah. down. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. It's not a dick. Yes, you win. Four rims. Here's, here's what I would say to that gay. Here's what I would say. Uh, how many motherfuckers do we know, like just in general, who always talking about yo? I'm a fuck. That, I'm gonna punch that nigga in the mouth, right? How many niggas? Know, okay, and how many of niggas actually punch a nigga in the mouth? None that I haven't seen. Yeah. None. I'll say none. I've never seen. None. It. None. Look, we had, especially we had, in comedy. We oh, three guys. Guys. comedy. Three guys. Guys. Oh, gross. We, we had Who great. I know in comedy that pop off for real? Well, I know a few people. Sherrod. Sherrod, Sherrod, I know. Sherrod, Artie Fuqua. Sherrod will pop. Sherrod, Sherrod, Artie will. I'm seeing Artie, Artie smack this dude. Now, now smack you in your face in front of your girl, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was holding him back. And, you know, Artie got long ass arms, so he reached around me and smacked yeah, the nigga in the face. Pow! And I was, he's like, now nah, smack you in your face did, in front of your girl, pussy. Did Godfrey go after anybody? Godfrey, uh, Godfrey went after. I had to pull Godfrey, yeah. pull Godfrey back off the company. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. Oh, to you know, go. karate. Yeah, Godfrey got. Yeah, he got Kempo. Gary Gelman. <laughs> Gary Gelman has gone after some audience. Gary. Uh, yeah, but he's gone. He yeah, he didn't go after nobody. No, he he. I, I heard know, Ben Bailey like, used to be a bitch. I heard Ben Bailey. Yeah, he'll go. Like, he used to box. He'll throw you in the streets. He's the box. He's the box. But but I'd say that fucking. Gary and uh, uh, Gary and and Sherrod was supposed to be for was, real. They was beefing for real. They was beefing for and, real. And Sherrod was, was like, "Manetta Lane, nigga, Manetta, <laughs> Manetta." You know, so I I haven't seen a lot of motherfuckers. You know, scrap. I had we had Greer on the show, and Greer was yeah. I remember when you. I remember Greer almost scrap. I remember uh, we was at Times Square Center. I saw you almost scrap a dude one night. And I saw Greer almost beat up a whole clan of Puerto Ricans by himself. Yeah, he was. Greer's a kung fu like Greer. Yeah, like Greer will cry. Greer like these niggas don't know me, man. From Harlem, and he he be up so mad, tears up. He be ready to go. Greer told a a story on the show about uh, he was like, "Oh, I remember when you da da da," and I'm like, "Where? Where?" He was like, "I don't want to name no name." Uh, And then he told this story about. Somebody that I elbowed in the face <laughs> and nothing happened. And I'm like, nigga, that's not a story. Nobody got knocked out. The nigga just got a, a little tune up. A little tune up. You don't count a tune up. <laughs> you don't count a tune up. If a nigga don't get blasted in the face, it's, a, it's just a tune up. It's just a tune up. Okay. But he was like, it's a story. Nice little check. It's a whole story. I remember I was, I, I was dating this girl. She was like, Dominican chick. She was like, do you remember the guy said something to me and you put him against the gay and smack him in the face? I was like, no, I don't remember that at all. She's like, you don't remember <laughs> smacking the guy in the face? He said to me, you push him and choke him and smack him. I was like, no. Nah, and then he peed his pants a little bit and then you <laughs> said, how you like that now? And you made him drink it? You don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> and you told him to get his balls back? Yeah. yeah it was a lot. Remember? <laughs> I was like, no, baby, that's I'm a, sorry. That's a yeah. Tuesday. Him, no problem. <laughs> That's a Tuesday, man. You know, that's not a story. Gaines, plug your plug your shit. You, I know you got your podcast and everything. Oh going yeah, on. Uh, please listen to the illustrious No Need for Apologies podcast with me and Monroe Martin. I want to uh, do it. I'm I want to do it again. Yeah, we'll get you on. Uh, we'll call you soon. We're trying right. to get a girl on this week. Okay. And, uh, and um, uh, the great boy on Instagram, and. Uh, Keep watching Last OG. I'm in the last two episodes this season, nine and ten, comes out in June. Dope, dope. And uh, yeah, and all the fun stuff. So yeah, I saw uh, your Will and always... Grace too. By accident, huh? I don't really watch Will and Grace. I was passing. You know. Dre watched Will and Grace. <laughs> 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 Dre I saw that Will shit. I saw oh, your Will yeah. and Grace. It was dope. It was dope. Oh was dope. yeah, yeah. I'm glad. I hope you still get a uh, residual check because if they you keep seeing it, I mean, I'm need. I need money. Yeah, you Money, get a check. Just, I think after a hundred times, after they play it a hundred times, it goes. It's it, nowhere near a hundred, Dante. No, it should go back up. It's the new season, just the okay. new revamp. Oh, how many? Wait, oh, that's right. This is like, but it, it'll. Like I got a, a residual check for twelve cents in a check. That. Yeah. I was like, I cash that shit too. I deposit yeah, that yeah. shit in like a month. Twelve cents is twelve cents. Fuck that. Mm. Uh, Dre, talk to me. Yo, Andre D. Thompson on everything. That's all. Here we okay. go. Harry, talk to me. Uh, at Harry Turjanian is all my stuff. But uh, what you should really check out is the Man School 202 YouTube page. 
because we have started loading some stuff up. up some classic episodes and some new episodes. Uh, this episode will be up this week, too, if you want to see the visuals of what's going on. Uh, and also, we just uploaded two classic episodes with Vic Henley was on yeah. the show. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace, Vic Henley. Dude. I good didn't dude. know the guy, but it yeah. looked like he was a, he was a good no, dude. he was a really yeah. good dude. Yeah, good yeah, dude. Good. You know you got to be a steady dude to, to be friends with Sherrod long, yeah. that long. Because <laughs> Sherrod is not having no bullshit. You got to be a straight up motherfucker to be fucking with Sherrod. Um, yeah, because I didn't know the guy. Yeah. Uh, Check me so out. So check out uh, the YouTube page, please. Yeah, the Dante Nero on Instagram. Everything else, Dante. DanteNero.com. If you want to book one-on-one consultations, um, you know, you can uh, go to DanteNero.com, click on consult, and you can book some time with me. I got to do a, I actually got to do one right after this. Um, also, uh, f- uh, the 18th, I'm doing a, writers, a comedy writer's workshop on Zoom. Check it out on Facebook if you want. I, You know, you read your... your Goofy ass jokes, and then I tell you how to make them better. <laughs> He's just shitty horse shit. Well, I really it inviting. It's a very supportive and warm atmosphere <laughs> yeah. that you create. Yeah, like, nah, that shit ain't funny. Here's what you should do. Um, <laughs> so I'm doing that the 18th. It's going to be online. Uh, so just check Facebook. I'll, I'll uh, tweet it out and I'll post it or whatever. Or if you're interested, just hit me on the gram and I'll, and I'll forward. GYBBG, to get your balls back. Uh, WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love you. Yo, uh, D, thanks for coming, man. Right, Dre, man. I love you, man. I love you, oh, bro. you too, family. <laughs> stay safe, y'all. Harry, y'all be cool. Yo, stay safe. Um, I love y'all. We are out. Thanks, D. Thanks for calling in, bro. Thanks for having me. Right on.